Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and today I'm filming from a different location again because I am in my dorm right now and I also have new glasses and <laughs> my camera is so far away. I still need to have like, how do you call it, like a thing for my camera to be put on and to like be set wherever I want because right now you're standing on my bookshelf and you're just way too far away and I can barely see myself so that is why I am wearing my glasses. I hope that the glare is not too bad. Today's video is actually kind of two videos in one because I'm gonna announce the three winners for my three years on booktube giveaway. At first I filmed like a whole video picking the winners but I don't think it will be very interesting for you guys. You will just have to trust me on me being honest that I just closed my eyes and randomly scrolled through the comments and picked my winners that way. By now, the time that this video has gone up, I have contacted the three winners for the three prices, but I will also announce them here. So for the candles, which is someone who's also Dutch because that was the national part of the giveaway, I uh, picked, randomly picked Doe, and which is really funny because Doe comments on almost every single one of my videos, plus she also follows me on Instagram. So congratulations to you, Doe. Um, then I also uh, randomly picked Shirana Funk, I think is how her name is pronounced, because apparently she's also Dutch, and she wins a Ready Player One, a copy of one of my favorite books of 2017. And then for the book depository book, I randomly chose Purple Book Ends to win it. So congratulations to all of you guys. Today, the big main thing of this video is my January wrap up. So January was like an okay reading month for me, but um, if you look at how big last week was, this week I had three finals, which were all like crammed into one week. And between my Christmas break and finals week, I had to do all like so many other things as well. So considering that I finished two books and I started to, I'm pretty okay with that number. But the first book that I read in January is released by Patrick Ness and I thought this was a very interesting book. It is like a mixture between contemporary and like magical realism. The main story I really really enjoyed. It is about this guy whose family is very religious but he is gay and um, it kind of deals with being religious and being gay at the same time and it's like a nice coming of age story and I loved that part of this book but then there's also like a magical realism part of it about a girl who lived in that town as well as our main character but she has been murdered a couple of weeks or days before and she sort of like reawakens in this lake and it's very strange she goes to seek her murderer and like people that she knew and she has this fawn like this goat type of man next to her who's sort of like helping her and it's like really weird because the girl didn't come back as the girl but as like a the queen of the lake or something like that and there's probably some like literary thing between these two stories but I might be a little bit too young to be able to know that. Overall, I really enjoyed it and I also kind of like the story of the girl finding her murderer and stuff like that. Um, so I think that I gave this one like a 3.75 or a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, it's very short. That seems to be kind of the theme this month, but I really enjoyed it and I would definitely recommend it to you if you have it on your shelves because it is very unique because of that sort of magical realism element in it. Then I started uh, one of the books that I have received in my fairy loot boxes because one of my goals is to read five of the whatever books that I've received in my fairy loot boxes. So I started A Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier and I'm like one third of the way through because I sort of like, I did not give up, but I sort of like stopped reading for about two weeks ago. I'm noticing that it is a very slow paced book in my opinion. I want something to happen in my books and until so far not much has happened. I do think that I really like Renee Adier's writing style but the pace of this story is just really slow. Uh, but in February I'm gonna give it another try and start reading a little bit more in it. But until so far I'm not that impressed. But maybe if you have also read this book and like somewhere in the middle the whole story turns around and it becomes so much more fast paced, please tell me because I have read like 136 of the 400 pages and until so far, it's just a little meh. I was noticing that I was gonna come like into a reading slump with Flame in the Mist, and I've told myself for this year that if I feel like a reading slump is gonna happen, I'm gonna have to pick up another book 
that will get me out of that sort of reading slump. So I picked up Moxie by Jennifer Matthew and this book was absolutely amazing. It is a contemporary which is centered all around feminism and why feminism is definitely not a bad thing and you shouldn't be scared of the word and of the movement behind it. You follow this girl called Vivian and her high school is <laughs> so fucked up. Like guys grow girls, they do whatever they want with them, they make gross comments and Vivian wants to stop that. And Vivian's mother was very active in a feminist group when she was younger and Vivian finds all of these sort of like magazines or zines that her mother made and it really inspires her to do that as well at her school. The story is just lovely and what I loved about Moxie is that the love interest of Vivian is a sort of like a feminist too and that was just absolutely amazing that a guy for once was also supportive of feminism. This book really made me realize that I should stand up for feminism more too because feminism is not about girls wanting to be better than guys. We want to be equal and this book gave that message like so very well and I believe, I don't know where it is exactly anymore but I think I found one of my new favorite quotes in here. It occurs to me that this is what it means to be a feminist not a humanist or an equalist or whatever, but a feminist. It's not a bad word. After today, it might be my favorite word. Because really all it is, is girls supporting each other and wanting to be treated like human beings in a world that's always finding ways to tell them they're not. That quote just describes how this book feels. And if that quote intrigues you, definitely pick it up. I think that this is a book that everyone should read and especially young girls and guys even too, to learn them what feminism really is all about. So I gave this one a five out of five stars. I love the writing style. I love the pace of the story. I love the story itself. It was just a really good book. And I think that this will be one of my favorites for 2018 and I can tell you guys that already. And then after I finished Moxie, I didn't want to continue with Flame in the Mist because it just doesn't really intrigue me at the moment, but I did start A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Langel, I think is how you pronounce her name. And this is like a children's or YA classic, which is going to be turned into a movie in March. I have only read what is it, like 46 of the 200 and something pages and I really want to continue on with it today because it intrigues me a lot. I just want to sort of like read a classic and this really intrigued me because this is supposed to be sort of like a sci-fi-ish mystery kind of novel, I think. So these were sort of the four books that I read in January of 2018. I hope that in February I will be able to finish the two of the four of these books. I decided to not really make a February TBR anymore because I've noticed that when I make a TBR, I don't really stick to it and I just wanna go with the flow with how I'm feeling and just picking up the books that I want to read at that moment. I hope that you guys enjoyed this January wrap up in my dorm. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below which books you have read in this month. Also, if you guys want to follow me on all of my different social media pages, of course, I have Goodreads, Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address and links to those will all be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.